<laughs> Is it working? Can everybody see me? I think so. Go for it. Okay, well, moral, we're going up to Boundary Pond, way up in the tip of northern New Hampshire, to do some fly fishing. And when we get there, we're going to see a rock with a plaque attached to it. The plaque says That's cool. that the Jolly Green Giant died here. We're not talking oh, really? about ho, 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 the Jolly Green Giant that's on the cans of corn or whatever. We're talking about something else. There was a game warden or conservation officer, whichever you prefer. His name was uh, Gary Waterhouse. He stood over six, six feet, six inches tall. Big guy. Big, strong, strapping guy. They said he had huge hands. It was something just to shake hands with him. Well, in his green uniform, he looked like a big giant, green giant. And he was a very jovial fellow, had a lot of fun. He liked people, uh, people liked him. So some, one day somebody called him and said, oh, the Jolly Green Giant, well that nickname stuck. Well then, sometime later, uh, a, another game world called C Carl Claxon, I think his name was, asked him to come in the system because they, they had heard there were some Canadians that had come across the border and they were fishing illegally on border pond or boundary pond. Boundary pond, yeah. So they got up there and they snuck around the back of the pond, you know, kind of stealthy to try to catch them. And they came, it was a very hot day. And they came up, it was kind of steep when they got up there. Gary was puffing, huffing, and puffing. There was nobody there, so they thought they either had already scattered or they had been given bad information. Well, suddenly Gary said that. He was having a bad case of heartburn, and then he collapsed right there on the earthen dam. And Carl Clarkson, the the, uh, the other game warden, tried to give him CPR. It didn't work. And of course, there were no cell phones back then in the 60s. And he couldn't drag him out of there, so he ran. He went into a, a village called uh, up in Canada. Uh, I forget the name of the little village, and he made a phone call. And they, what they did is they, they scrambled they, at Pease Air Force Base a uh, C-130 with medics and a doctor wow. on it. They flew over and the guys parachuted out of the, uh, out, parachuted out and landed on uh, Boundary Pond. On the Boundary pond, pond, but he had already expired. So what they, so some years later, they put that plaque on the rock that said the Jolly Green Giant died here. Years later, when they re when they decided to fix the old wooden uh, spillway and stuff, they moved, removed the rock and they built a new spillway and they returned it there. And they had a, a ceremony with the family and whatever for that. So what I'm thinking is, tomorrow when we get up there, we should all go and put our hand on the rock to respect the Jolly Green Giant yeah. And thank him for his uh, service as a game warden. Yeah. So that's my story. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. Wow. That's wild. Yeah, we'll have to check it out tomorrow. Maybe if we do that, he'll be nice to us and allow us yeah. to catch some fish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is what we ran into on our way to Boundary Pond. Gate. So, just means we're gonna have to come back 
some other day it's up there another hour drive up a logging road so oh well maybe next time Today, I'm up in northern New Hampshire, up by the headwaters of the Connecticut River in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. I'm on East Inlet. Originally, we tried to get to Boundary Pond. You probably heard the campfire story my dad was telling yesterday about the Jolly Green Giant. Unfortunately, it is gated, so we couldn't make it. So as far north as we could come is here, East Inlet. So we're going to... Try some fly fishing here. It's supposed to be really hot. It's supposed to be almost 90 degrees, which is pretty abnormal for this time of year. Usually it's around the 60 degree mark. But who cares? We're out here. We're gonna have a good time. Hopefully catch some fish. Probably try the river later on. The weather holds out. They're talking about maybe some thunder and light thunder and lightning later on, but we'll see. So we'll get out to where I want to be. And uh, I'll get with you in a minute. Hey, guess what? First one of the day. I got one. <laughs> I haven't got one yet. beautiful up here because there's no camps on the water and it's just it's awesome you look all the way around the shoreline and there's nothing nobody so I'm paddling along here and I'm trying to find where a brook might come in or something I tend to have a lot of luck fishing near where there's an inlet so I haven't paddled here before so I don't know my way around, so I'm just kind of exploring right now. But yeah, what a beautiful day. There's a mountain up ahead of me. I forget the name of it, but that's Canada. Right up there. Here we go. Here we go. I got a decent one. I got a decent one. There he is. Sit, guys. Look at that. Look at that guy. Very cool. Mickey Finn.
One. There's a little brook trout. Huh? There's a little brookie. Yeah, how big was he? I don't know, six, eight inches. Are you having any luck? Yeah. How's the new boat? I don't know. It's all right. I'm not like blown away by it or anything. No? We get blown not, around quite a bit. It's not as comfortable as the other one. Well, we're headed back in. Water right behind the camera. Yeah, so we're headed back in. Go have some lunch and a beer. You saw that one rookie I caught on camera. I caught another one shortly after that, but I wasn't quick enough to get it on camera. It wasn't quite as big. And then I was fooling around with some other ones, but I couldn't land them. It's pretty warm, middle of the day, tough time to fish, but we're, uh, we're gonna head to the river, see what we can do. Like I said, we were hoping to go up to Boundary Pond, which is another hour drive north on logging roads, but it's gated. So that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head back and have something to eat. Here I come. I'm gonna beat you to the snacks. So yeah, it's uh, black fly season. <laughs> There's so many, they're swarming the car. All right. So now I'm headed for the river. We just, uh, on our way down here, we saw a moose. That was pretty cool. I wasn't quite quick enough with the camera, unfortunately, to get it on camera. But it was pretty neat to see. So. Yeah, we'll try our luck here. Like I said, it's pretty hot. We were hoping to come out this evening and do this, but they're talking about thunder and lightning and all that. So we didn't want to be in a boat when it's thundering and lightning out. So we figured we'd fish this afternoon, which is less than ideal because it's pretty hot, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find a good spot out here by the water. And, uh, yeah, I'll get started. We're back. We didn't have any luck. Well, a little bit of luck. Jay caught, caught the first fish. Yep, out there. <laughs> yeah. Never, never been fly fishing before. I don't think it was much longer than your thumb. <laughs> My father gave him a couple quick lessons here in camp on how to fly fish, and he went out and caught the first fish. Although it was only like sardine size, but you caught the first fish. <laughs> Still a fish. And then you saw the one that I caught earlier. But uh, what do you think? Not a bad day. No, anytime you can come up here in the North Country, you know, and chill out, and it's just, it's worth it. Right. You it's know? too bad we couldn't make it up to 
Boundary Pond, yeah. especially after you told that cool story. I'm disappointed. I want to go up and put my hand on that rock. Yeah, we will. That means we got to do it again. So we'll be doing this again sometime. Maybe, maybe June. I guess I heard that that gate is open in June, but not no earlier than that. So. No. What did you it? hear from anybody? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. what they said. They said June. I wish I had known that. Cause I wouldn't have planned that. I wouldn't wanted to plan it for now. Right. You know. But, but anyway. But it's good time. How'd your new canoe work? It was it was good, but uh, very similar to what I already have. So. So you gonna sell it? I think I might. Anybody want to buy a canoe? <laughs> He's selling a canoe for like a dollar, right? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> At least what I got for it. But anyway, yeah. I don't know. I, I, the way I see it, I went to the Orvis Pro Shop, spent forty dollars on lint, so I could buy, I could catch a brook trout that was that long. <laughs> At least you caught one. <laughs> At least I caught one. Yeah, and I spent forty-one dollars on stuff I forgot home, and I never really needed it. <laughs> right. He's got everything. He's got every fly and what? Everything. He's been collecting for a lot of years. It's insane. You know, so, but it doesn't do any good when you leave it at home. So, well, I, you know, I brought what I thought I needed, and uh, you know, there's a couple other things I should have brought. Yeah. That I thought of after, but you know, the, the, the plans didn't work out exactly the way it. Plans would, never work out the way they're supposed to, but yeah, that's what makes so. it fun. So, I don't know. We might be making dinner in the rain, but. We figured we'd start the fire ahead of time. So we'll see. It might get real exciting tonight. <laughs> hey, so we had to retreat. It opened up and it opened up fast. Fire's going so. I stoked the fire. We're hoping it, it'll last through this storm. You can see going like crazy but I don't know how long the storm is gonna last of course the camera doesn't do it justice we're standing on the picnic table to keep the splash off us but we're okay because we have our whiskey yeah. so everything's put away for the most part Jay and dad are taking shelter in the truck we're hoping this thing blows over So as you can see, that's us. We're right in the heart of it right now. We've got about another 45 minutes and we should be through it by the looks of it. Woo! I love a good storm. <laughs> but my whiskey cup is over there. I'm going for it. <laughs> 